Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number two from the January 2015 International A-Level Core Mathematics um, C12 paper. This question here is about the trapezium rule, which is a P2 topic under the uh, chapter of integration. It says, figure one shows a sketch of part of the graph of y equals 12 over the square root of x squared minus 2. Um, the table below gives values of y rounded to three decimal places. Use the trapezium rule with all the values of y from the table to find an approximate value to two decimal places for the integral between 11 and 2 of this um, function that we're given. So basically, when we integrate a function, we find the area under its graph. Now, we're not going to integrate this function because we don't know how to integrate it, but we're asked to use the trapezium rule to give an approximate value of this integral, the approximate value of the area under this graph. Now, the trapezium rule basically splits up this area that we're trying to find the area underneath the curve for into sets of trapeziums. Here there will be three trapeziums that this splits up into. Right, so we find the area of each of these trapeziums and add them together, and that gives us a, an approximate area of what's you know underneath this graph, which is the area between two and eleven of this. So how do we use the trapezium? Well, we know that the area of a trapezium is the distance between the parallel sides, which in this case is these distances here, which are three. The distance between the parallel side divided by two times the sum of the parallel sides. Now the the, the parallel sides are these y values of these points that side these are parallel to each other okay these are the parallel sides so this is the general formula for the area of a trapezium so in this case okay what we're going to do is we're going to use the formula um, h over 2 times and then we're going to take the first ordinate which is called y0 and then we're going to um, basically add together this one which is we can say y1. Okay, that's the area of this trapezium. And then we're going to add the area of this trapezium, which is h over 2 again. Okay, and this is like, we have to use this line and this line for this trapezium. So it's going to be like y1 plus y2. And then we're going to do h over 2 times um, this trapezium, which is, this is parallel sides is y2 plus y3. And that will be the whole of this trapezium. Now, if you notice what we have here, we has h, have h over 2 is common. And what we'll see inside, we'll have y0 plus y1 plus another y1 plus y2 plus another y2 plus y3. So y1 and y2 are both here twice because we've used them. I've used this y1 in this trapezium and that trapezium and this y2 in this trapezium and that trapezium. So basically what we have to do in the trapezium rule is take the distance between the parallel sides which are these distances here so it's going to be 3 divided by 2 that's your h over 2 times the sum of the parallel sides well the first the y values are the the, the length of the parallel sides so the first and the last are used once so you have 8.485 plus then these ones in the middle are used twice so it's 2 times 2.502 plus 1.524 and then this one is used once as well the one at the end as we saw up there and that will give us a approximate value for this integral okay which is the, like approximate area under this graph okay so we're using this length and this length once and these two twice because these are using both trapeziums here okay so um, that will give us our value and in the end we have to round to two decimal places so we take a calculator and we simply put this inside. We have 3 over 2 times, and we have 8.485 plus 2 times 2.502 plus 1.524. Just make sure that's right. Yep, 524 plus 1. Point, and then uh, close that bracket. Then you have 1. Um, then you have plus 1.100, close the other bracket, and that gives you your answer, which is 26.4555, which to two decimal places is 
6.46. This is the answer. That's the answer to this. So the the uh, integral of this between 11 and 2 gives you 26.46. That's an approximate um, value. It's not the exact value because we didn't integrate this, but we used the trapezium rule. And as you can see, the trapezium rule won't give us the exact area under it. There's like, in this case, some sort of overestimate. We're bi actually bigger than the actual area. Okay, so there's part A. Now, part B is a very common type of question that comes up now. So let me just write down our value that we got here. It was 26.4555. I got it in my calculator anyway. So I'll write this down as 26.4555. Use your answer to part A. So we'll write down what we wrote for part A, which is 26.46. So this is the answer to part A. That the integral of 11 to, uh, of 12 over root x squared minus 2 between 11 and 2 is equal to this value here. That is the um, answer to part A. Now it says use your answer to part A to estimate a value for this. So what they don't want you to do is to use the trapezium rule all over again and make a new set of table or a new table with different y values. They don't want you to do that. They want you to use your answer to part A. They want you to use this answer here to find an estimate of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by trying to split this up. So I have, I'm, start, I'm starting off with this. x squared minus 2. You'll notice that this, the, the second part of this is not quite the same as this. It is basically, um, this is six times um, this. This is, the, sorry, this is six over root x squared minus two. And what we have here is 12 over root x squared minus two. What we have to do in the end is we have to try to express what we want to find in terms of what we already know the area of. Right now, first thing I will I will do I'll say okay I know how to integrate one so I'll write this as the integral between eleven and two of one with respect to x plus the integral between eleven and two of this six over the square root of x squared minus two with respect to x okay I can integrate this this part's no problem this if I integrate it it's going to become x and you're going to have eleven and two that's going to give you eleven minus two which is nine. Plus, now, how can I express this in terms of that? Okay, what I can do is I can say that the 6, okay, um, root x squared minus 2 is the same as a half times 12 over root x squared minus 2. I can say that that's true. This is exactly true. 6 over the root of x squared minus 2 is equal to a half times 12 root x squared minus 2 because I have to express this in terms of that. So what I can do is I can write this as a half times the integral of, and now I can write this as 12 over the square root of x squared minus 2 with respect to x. This and that are the same. This and that are the same. Okay, because this was going to give me, if I multiply this out, it's going to give me exactly that, but I've expressed it now in terms of what we have here. So now I can replace this part here with what is equal to. This is equal to 26.46. So now I can say that this is going to give me 11 minus 2, which is 9. Just substitute those values after I've integrated the 1. I can integrate that part. Plus a half times the value that we have for this from part A, which is 26.46. 26.46. Okay, so that's going to be 9 plus and a half times 26.46 is 13.23 so you're going to end up with 22.23 that is basically the answer to this question okay that's an estimate of this value all right we had to in these all these type of questions are very very similar you always have something you've used the trapezium rule to find the, an approximate area of something or approximate value of something and you have another expression which is related to that in some way, okay, and you have to modify it so that you can express it in terms of what you have. So I have to express things in terms of 12 over root x squared minus 2, so I can replace that with 26.46. So I did that by separating this out first as the integral of 1, which is easy for us to find, and then this is the same as a half times what we had before, and we get the answer. So there we have the answer for question number 2b of January 2015, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from this topic of the trapezium rule under the integration topic, which will be over here. I think I've got a separate playlist also, so I'll put also in the, that, that playlist over here. You can also 
subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.